we have finally got some strawberry plants coming in tomorrow. It is the 21st of October. So we're only 20 days late planting our strawberries. If you've been watching very long, you've heard me mention before how important it is to have our strawberries planted on time because we need to get a certain amount of growth in a certain amount of time. And you only get so many hours of light and so many heat units and that's decreasing day by day. Um, we, we look for our strawberry plants to be about the size of a pie pan by my birthday, which is the middle of December. So um, it's critical that we get them planted on time so that we get that growth so we can have enough crowns to have a decent crop. Um, due to a situation that was completely out of our control, uh, we couldn't get our plants from the place we were supposed to get them from. That place is now out of business. Um, and we found out kind of last minute and we had to switch up and get them from somewhere else. So um, anyway, our plants are ready, as ready as they're going to get. And um, Holly's gonna go get those in the morning. We normally plant, as you know, with our water wheel transplanter. And we have four seats on the back. You can go back and watch uh, video from last year where we were planting strawberries like that. The problem with that, two problems. It takes a lot of help. Uh, you need at least five people plus me driving. Uh, with strawberries, not that I'm fantastic, but not just anybody can drive when you're planting strawberries because you have to really dead center that row because we plant strawberries in a double row. We're gonna be running both wheels, um, 12 inch spacing. Well, they're more like 14 inch spacing. Um, and if you're not dead center of the row, you're making a mess. You'll have one, one side of the, the double row will be running off the edge of the bed. Anyway, I have to drive and it usually, it works best if we've got five people helping me. Four riders and a walker, somebody to walk and kind of check plants and um, make sure we've got plenty of trays. We have to stop constantly, fill up with water. So it's very time consuming to plant strawberries. This year, I'm going out of town. I've had this planned for months before we even knew that we weren't gonna get strawberries. I had this planned. Um, so, I'm not gonna be here for planting strawberries. We could wait, but Lord knows we don't want to need to wait any longer. So what I'm gonna do is I have taken those seats off to make this thing easier to maneuver. Changing over to the strawberry wheels, and I am going to go over here to the strawberry field and punch all the holes. And when Holly gets back with the strawberry plants tomorrow, the guys can go ahead and start plugging those in by hand. So Holly's had the water running all day over here in the strawberry field to get it softened up and have a really nice wet bed for the plants to go in. And uh, I probably should have requested that she walk it before uh, or right after she crunked the pump because I got over here to find this and then we got water running course out the end of the field it's always something freaking mice I don't know what their fascination is with eating drip line they sure do like it
day can make. Good old North Carolina weather. Uh, is that better? That may be worse. The wind is blowing so hard. It's like 55 degrees and the wind's blowing like 15 miles an hour, 25 mile an hour gust, something like that. Um, anyway, they have got, let's see, one, two, three, four plots left to plant. I don't know how long it's gonna take them to plug these in by hand. Hopefully not long, because one of the guys um, is getting on a bus back to Mexico on Thursday, and it is Tuesday night. So, um, I'm gonna get these punched so uh, they can hopefully Since the wind's blowing so hard, and I've got to get busy getting this done, um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.